Okay, these, so these are the little tables. They could be kitchen tables with a top on. They come in black, gray, white, and like an ivory color. So good. This could also be like a, and then there's these mirrors, which would make really nice mirrored tabletops. You could put them on top of those. You could put them on top of these candles. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. Put the tabletop right there, the mirrored tabletop. So they also have square ones here. That'd be cute too. A really cute, cool candle holder. This is neat. This is about two inches tall. That also would make a cute low table base for maybe next to a one six scale sofa. That is way cute. Or because it's shorter, you can do a flower arrangement out of it and put it in the corner in your diorama. Here's another really pretty one too. And that come in gold and in white. And once again, you could put a top on that and look at that. What a cute table that would be. And here are those picture frames I was talking about. This is what I used on my shower door. This acrylic picture frame and you can cut this with an exacto knife but you have to score it and do you see this part here this half here where it's doubled up to two that's what I used for my shower door on my 1 6 scale shower and of course all the picture frames work great as windows as well can do windows exterior on 1 6 scale or windows interior using the frame and the glass and everything. This floral wire will work really good too for like hanging lamps or something or to secure something. This taller tree has some more of these boxes in different colors. You can also put paper over them, but this Dollar Tree has some more different colors in these nice fancy boxes that are great for stacking, making dressers. These pictures are really cute too. You could glue these up in your diorama. And these are really great too because you can actually light the back of them. It has a light in there, so the lights you can put this on the inside. You could put some Velcro on the back here and then on the wall of your diorama and Velcro it and take it off so you can turn the light on and off. That'd be really cool. And this is about like three inches tall, two and a half inches wide. This moth is really good too for like doing little outdoor sceneries. It's the cheapest here. If you go to Michael's Crafts, you're going to pay a lot more for it. I think I'm going to get some of these stones for like an outside diorama. These are cute for little indoor plants. These little hinges here can be also used for something to use for hinges for doors and all you have to do is use hot glue and you can hot glue them on to the foam board. Here are the Velcro fasteners that you can peel and stick on. So if you want to put something on a wall but you don't want to use hot glue and you want to be able to remove it and put it on and off or change photos, you can use those. These are great for little Tupperware containers in your 1 6 scale kitchens. So cute, put like cereal in there, or coffee, or sugar. They've got this great piece of thick cork. You could cut this and put this in the wall, about an office maybe in your diorama, so you can little post little notes to it. That is so cool. It's like half an inch thick. This balsa wood is great for making shelves. It's a little bit thicker, but tabletops and shelves. 
I love these little squares for putting on the underside of the furniture. Great, they make great feet. These would make good little feet too on the bottom of a piece of furniture as well as little planters. You could put little sprigs of plant in there. Now this is a sticky back paper. It's a little bit thinner, but it works too. And this is great for edging something. It's good for if you get a black color, you can use it for the outside of your faux TV. You also have ones that are sparkly and they're great. They work just like contact paper to cover over little things. These are great too. I'm sure you've seen these before, but these are great if you want to like um, glue them to a wall and kind of make a collage of them in your 1 6 scale dioramas. Oh, look at the, cute. the horse is cute. The little ram. The owls are really cool too. Look at that. Beautiful. These sponges work great for cushions for furniture. You could put the, the green side down, cover it with fabric. Perfect for furniture and they're a good size too, the large ones. Here are these front door mats and they're really thin and these make great carpeting as well. These little hooks work really good too and they are cute for like in a bathroom you want to hook a towel to it or something like that in a in a miniature bathroom i think i'm gonna get these so cute oh my gosh i totally love these these are a must for one six scale miniaturists um, these are organizers you find these in the bathroom section. I don't know why it's sitting here, but it's got three nice compartments. They're about two inches by three inches. And you can put all your stuff in here, all your little shoes, purses, handbags, all the little miniature things. And then these stack on top of each other because there's a little lip right here. I love these, they're so good. Mounting tape can also be really good if you want to stick something to a wall. You've got super glue foam mounting tape. These are really great too. Now I have used these for ceilings in my dioramas and my 112 scale and this is the bomb for a ceiling. If you're doing a diorama that's like old world, um, something in Paris, um, these are great for like the ceiling. They give you like all of the detail work without all of the effort and you just peel and stick them. They have the tile back ones, but I find the tiles just a little bit too large. I like the smaller ones they have better. It looks like they have new patterns now. That's a really cool pattern. Love that. Stones are kind of neat too if you're doing like a wall, like a like an outdoor scene. Like I could have put this on the back of my pool as like a half wall of stone. That would have been cool too. Don't pass up the pillowcases. They have satin pillowcases now that you can cut and make bedding out of. Like you have this gold one and you can use the material from these for bedding wouldn't that be cute bedding right there for a dollar 25 you get a good piece it's enough to cover and this is like a satin you can do satin sheets with this so cool and just sew or hot glue them a wall of contact paper love it they've got natural wood so before you go spend a lot of money at Walmart, come to Dollar Tree. Great contact paper. Good for kitchens. Oh man, they've got tons here. Love it. Look at this stuff. This looks like that'd be a good neutral. 
The wood one would be great for like faux furniture and cab kitchen cabinets. Here are those little cutting boards. Those are so great. I'm gonna see those in my dioramas that you can cut and make tabletops out of. Oh my gosh, you know what these pot hose holders would be good for because they're rubber? Those little chef mats. I think I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna put it in Brooklyn's apartment in front of her kitchen sink. Oh, and these placemats too. These can sometimes work for things you can cut them. This one has a, a wording on it, but the more plain ones like this, this makes great, great flooring. Or to put it on top of a floor, kind of like, not like a carpet, but these are awesome. Oh, so here's the matting they have. This seat, this would be great for cutting and putting on the bottom of a floor or just cutting out a little section and putting it in front of the sink in your diorama or outside the shower. So cute. Some of these barbecue clothes are really cute, like this set here with the silver with the microphone and the, this is a really super cute top. You have to kind of make it, you know, fit better and skirt, but it's actually not bad. And if you're looking for some extras, like this little glasses right there, these fashion doll packs are great for that. The little extras, if you need like a tennis racket or here, it's a little spatula, you can paint that with some nail polish or something and change the color of that, make it black. You could use the little violin out of this set. You'd have to, you could detail it with a little bit of paint, make it look real lifelike and put it in your diorama. So some of these are really super great. A little piece of travel luggage there and a chef hat or the soccer ball would be cute in diorama. I don't know if these would fit Ken, but that would be really cool. Oh, this girl too, her glasses will work on, on uh, Barbies. So she has a really great pair of glasses and then maybe you can give the doll to Goodwill or something, but these glasses are great. They have these miniature skateboards too. Those are real cute. You could put those in your dioramas with the little ramp. Love it. That one's cute with a little Hawaiian like leaf on it. Got these ping pong balls too because I saw this on another channel where you can cut them in half and use them as for lighting. Oh my gosh, look at these cute mini wave plates. They're really shallows. Those would make great trays for on the bed. Some really good foliage are these white ones. Anything that's kind of like small will work in 1 12th and 1 6 scales. These would work really good in outdoor diorama, like if you had a street side diorama with shops this make a great garbage can it's the perfect size pick up some more batteries for my push lights i like these barrettes too you could take these off of here and like glue them around a mirror or something a little detail all right well i think that does it i think i'm going to grab some water and head on home